Okay, good afternoon or and good evening to, to every one of you. Welcome to the Asia Champion Certification Program for Human Resources Business Partnering for the period of June to August this year, 2021. Um, let me just, my name is Rita Choi, founder of Asia Chow M. I'm also one of the trainers of this certification program. And uh, for Asia Chow M is a um, professional community for human resources practitioners. So stay ahead of the curve, keep abreast of the latest HR information, trends and best practices. We do organize a lot of different uh, HR related activities such, such as the sharing session we just had last Saturday on how HR enables speedy organization changes from the perspective of business leaders. And, and apart from the monthly sharing session, we also have the mastermind session, like the one that we had last Friday on workforce uh, analytics. And we had a chance to, to invite the, um, the global head of data, of data analytics of um, Lenovo, uh, India, to share with us on how they do how they, they do it in the company. Actually, they, we had a lot of takeaway from that sessions. So apart from the mastermind session, we also organize uh, training sessions such as certification program. Last year, HHM M had his own certific certification program, and Dia actually was one of the main trainers. And this year we have the same, and uh, this year is on human resources business partner, partnering. And we have the honor to partner with the FBHRO. And we have the founder here, he's also the trainer of this uh, program uh, on organizing this program. And as an HR, we, we all know that we need to bring our value to the organization. So being st strategic and being close to the business and become part of the business strategy is one of the things that we have to learn. That's why we have organized this program so that uh, we are able to, to equip the necessary, the necessary skills for our participants for the program so that they can use it in their daily work. Okay, so without further ado, I would like to, uh, to let you know the rundown for this kickoff session. And firstly, we will have Jekka, who is going to run through with us the, um, the, the this course outline, the program outline, the time, and also the assessment, all the details about the program. Then after that, we have the trainer, to, each of the trainer to introduce himself or herself so that you know us better. Then last but not the least, it's your turn to introduce yourselves so that we, we know you a bit more. Okay, so, First and foremost, we have Jekka. So Jekka, would you like to introduce yourself and also let us know about this course, uh, this program online? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rita. It's been uh, my pleasure uh, to start the program and kick off the session with uh, a few saying about our uh, courses and certification program. Thank you. And hello, it's been a, a very sunny day here in Bangladesh. I hope everyone is doing well amid the pandemic. Um, here in Bangladesh, we're again in lockdown situation as uh, the situation is a bit worsening again. Uh, so I think government is trying to control the situation and hopefully it will be okay soon. So here again, um, welcome to Asia HRM. Asia HRM is Asia's largest HR community where hundreds of keen HR professionals are connected closely to share their knowledge, expertise and experience with others. At HHRM, we share to care and we care to share. I, Jakar Abdullah, core committee member of HHRM and country lead of HHRM in Bangladesh. I'm very pleased to welcome you all to our signature course of HHRM, Champion Certification Program on Human Resource Business Partner. Today, uh, HRBPs are at the front line of the business, fulfilling the key role of integrating business strategy with people management practices. Uh, this role is rapidly shifting to a more strategic level where business acumen isn't as important as HR knowledge. Our champion certification program on human resource business partner is designed to help human resource professionals prepare to become a truly strategic partner 
to the business by acquiring essential skills ranging from consulting and data literacy, leader in change management to employee experience and business acumen. Take your rightful seat at the table with a strategic business partner skills. I'd like to share the course, I mean, that, I mean the design we have actually uh, in regards to the course preparation. The course has been designed collectively and comprehensively with latest practices and changed perspectives of HR, which is currently practiced in all fast-paced and uh, contemporary companies of the world. The course is outlined in five major areas of business operations and resource management which has covered the role playing of HRBP as internal consultant inside the organization. HRBP with business acumen skills, maximum usage of HR data science that we know as HR analytics, change management role and most crucial skills for managing talent of the organization. The instructor led certification program is designed to be finished between six interactive classes starting from 28th of June, 2021, which is today. And it's designed to be finished on 13th of August, 2021 with one bonus module at the end. The schedule set for the classes has fixed carefully with earnest convenience in all participating countries. Um, relevant session will contain special assessment at the end of the lectures which will be solved and submitted by all participants. The participants will be awarded course completion certificate after completing the course and will be accredited from HHRM as certified HRBP. Participants as can use that CHRBP as a professional title in their professional resume highlighting their excellence in HRBP role onwards as a recognized accolade. Program participants will be shared the course materials after end of each session. From our honorary instructor panel, I'm very pleased to welcome our expert and experienced instructors who are masters in HR field and has been a grandmaster in their respective field for quite a long time. All of them have several, have served in HR industry for over 20 to 30 years and have served in many different roles. By their astronomical contribution in their respective serving companies progression, they have made themselves incomparable in playing their role as champion HRBP. Now, I would request our distinguished instructors, Mr. Musharraf Hussain and Ms. Rita Chui and our guest speaker, Ms. Dia Ambarabati, to introduce themselves uh, respectively for our participants. Thank you. Sir, Musharraf, sir. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your very elaborative in uh, introduction about the courses and few words about us as the trainer of these courses. And as Rita mentioned that uh, I'm not only the trainer, we are partnering uh, from our organization called Federation of Bangladesh Human Resource Organizations. So this course has been jointly offered with the Asia HRM. And I'm here as a trainer, but I also represent as the president of the Federation of Bangladesh. In terms of my identity, I have a long identity, but I don't know where to stop. <laughs> but uh, uh, Jackie Abdullah mentioned that people have experience from uh, 20 to 30. I have over 35 years of ex years of experience. <laughs> Just to, <laughs> to mention, and in I'm Bangladesh, I am I am I am considered uh, you know I am considered that the senior most HR professional who is still in the job. There are other senior people who retired, but I am still in the job. Anyway, this is uh, Musharraf Hussain. Uh, currently, I'm working uh, as the head of uh, HR of a number one international health research organization in the world, which is based in Bangladesh. So you can imagine, and we are 
the recipient of the first GATS awards and a lot of uh, awards receiving organizer. So I'm, I'm the head of HRP. Uh, in terms of my experience, uh, I have 35 years of experience and all with international and multinational company. I never worked with any local company. And I have worked definitely most of my career in Bangladesh, but I have also worked in many other countries. Uh, and I have traveled more than 100 countries in my capacity of attending training, uh, my study in Canada, uh, and a lot of uh, seminar, workshop. I do a lot of keynote presentation. So I have traveled more than 100 countries, including all of your countries. I know your country of origin. Uh, so I have visited all of the country. Currently, I'm the president of the HR Federation uh, uh, in Bangladesh, which I mentioned. Uh, I also the founder and uh, past president of Bangladesh Society for Human Resource Management for 10 years. I also serve as the president of the Asia Pacific HR Federation for five years, which represents 62 countries of Asia and specific region. I also serve as the as the board member of the World HR Federation, who formulated the policy of the HR related to the whole world for five years. I received more than 50 national and international awards, uh, and, and one of them uh, is the Lifetime Achievement Award from World HR Congress, and another award from Malaysia. They have given me the World HR Leader Award from Malaysian Institute for uh, human resource management, probably you have heard of it. So I'm a widely traveled person. I did my master's level study in HR from the University of Calgary in Canada. All people, they stay in Canada, but I returned back in order to contribute for my country. And I think I'm, I have done this. Uh, I am the PhD scholar in management and HR from Ajahn uh, Kiyad E.Y. Patil University from India. So I'm a very frequent uh, speaker in most of the international conference. Even uh, on Saturday, I delivered a keynote presentation at the international conference organized by Binary University in, in Malaysia. So I'm a very busy uh, in my profession and, and job. So I'm very glad to be here to be one of your trainers. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. It was wonderful, wonderful sharings of your experience and the span of uh, the thing we actually look forward to have from you, sir. It was a very pleasant to have you among us. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Now, uh, it's my pleasure to turn uh, to Ms. Rita Chui, please. Uh, my dear Rita, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Um, okay, if I add my experience uh, together with uh, Sir's experience, already 60, I have 25 years experience in HR and Sir has 35, okay, we already had 60 years of experience here. I don't know how many here has, she might have 20 or something, so we end up have 80 or over 80, okay. <laughs> okay, so as I introduced myself earlier, I'm the founder of Asia Child M. And uh, I think for my personal side, I have been, as mentioned, I have been in the human resources field for over 25 years, working for different multinational companies, uh, overseeing uh, Asia. And uh, so during my time as the regional uh, HR manager or uh, regional HR manager of Asia, I had a pain, actually. I have the pain of connecting with the uh, different human resources uh, professionals in different countries in Asia. That's why I was able to get a lot of projects done properly, especially involved uh, getting best practices in each of the countries. That's why I decided that I set up, I, I, I created this Asia HRM platform so that everybody can share with us their best practices. Because of the pain that I had, that's why I decided that I, do, I should do something for the HR society. So that's why I always come with the big purpose that I really love people to share their best practices so that we can learn from each other. That's why you can see that our tagline is we, we share to care and we care to share. I always believe that sharing is caring. So in order to show our care to, to people, we need to share, we need to, to, to care. 
Okay, we are, we are to share to care. So we are to show our care to people we should be willing to share. So this is also the, 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 the reason behind that I have formed HHLM. And as for my profession, I am I'm now the uh, group HR di director for, for a conglomerate in Hong Kong with this major market in China. And that's also my first time having a, a boss from China. He, he's a very challenging boss. And I've been in that position for three years. And during my, my life as the HR manager, HR director, I, I actually, I help company achieve a few business successes, such as uh, when I was moving the regional office from Hong Kong to Singapore, I was able to recruit quite a number of key positions in a, in a, in a specified time frame. Therefore, uh, the business result was not affected. The business target was still be met by by the by the top management. And also, this is this is what this is, that's why as an HRBP, we really have to show our value to support the business objective. And apart from that, I was also in, involved in a, a few of the staff integration project. And at, and at that time, I was I was tasked to to retain. Um, over 90% of the people. So in the end, we were able to do it. And also uh, within a reasonable time frame, but at a very low cost, because especially in China, I did not involve lawyers. I just taught, I just approached FESCO. FESCO actually is the labor department representative in China. So I involved the people there. That's why I was able to complete it without, without, without a lot of hassles. So, so because of all these kind of, um, uh, 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 support that we have given that we have given to the management. That's why they I was able to to um, to win a place in the board meeting. That's why in, as an HRBP or as a CHR or whatever, the most important thing is for us to to get a seat right in the board meeting. And in the, in the German company, I, I I need to 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 sit at the board meeting so that I I was I was heavily involved in the business strategies and so forth. So as HRPP, we also have to do the same thing. We have to, to, to develop very good business acumen so as to help us to, for, to adopt different HR strategies to support the business. This is also the ultimate goal as a strategic HR. So, so I think I already talked a lot about myself, right? So I really hope that with this program, um, we, I'm, we are, as a trainer, please, we have over 60 or even 80 years of experience and pretty, and we are pretty confident that we're able to deliver necessary skills for each of you so that you can equip yourself well and go and then apply all the skills in your, in your daily work. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Jack Thank Pat. you, Rita. Thank you very much. Yeah. Once again, once again, blissful and excellent presence of yours. HHRM is really fortunate to have run under your leadership. How lucky we are. We have you, Mushar Officer, and Dia among us. Yeah. Now it's my pleasure to introduce another maestro among us, Ms. Dia Ambarvati. Please, Dia, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, uh, good evening, everyone. I mean, for people from Indonesia and Malaysia, good evening. Um, my name is Dia Ambarwati. Um, I've been working in HR industry for 29 years. So how many years do we have heading up here? So <laughs> I, I, I started my career as an English teacher, basically. It's a local uh, company that is having uh, branches from all over Indonesia. Indonesia is, is a very large archipelagic country. So can you imagine uh, how, how many the representation is? And um, after uh, passing through a career as an English teacher, I work in a hospitality industry. It is a very well-known hotel chain in the world called Four Seasons. And I started my career again as a personnel assistant and all the way up to director of HR. Having spent 13 years in uh, four seasons, I learned a lot, uh, especially dealing with um, employees uh, who serving the guests 
and uh, reflectively the way we do in HR was also the way we treat uh, our guests to our employees. So really putting everything in the heart of everything we do. And then uh, in, in the hospitality industry, I learned a lot about industrial relationship. I remembered I handled two unions at that time. And uh, I also had some hard time with them. But at the end of the day, with the human approach, with the strong culture, with a clear business strategy, everything is um, okay. Right, and uh, we even win and last uh, the business up until now. So moving on from the hospitality industry, I, I joined a marketing communications. It is also quite uh, well known in the world. It is called uh, Ogilvy and & Mather. And in Ogilvy & Mather, I handled three companies, three legal entities, right? And then nine business units. And it is, I mean, its business is uh, spread uh, amongst, you know, advertising, digital marketing, uh, branding, uh, public relations, uh, graphic design, uh, you know, marketing activation. So it's, it's so many um, um, communication and marketing lines and disciplines that, that I handled at that time. So uh, from Ogilvy and Mather, I learned about uh, the way uh, we communicate as a company, you know, and the way uh, we represent our clients to communicate their products and their, uh, you know, and their company, right, in many different ways. So it is very, very fruitful for my career because, you um, I also deal with the customer directly with our clients back then. So not only our account directors or the creative people who serve, but I also help set up a company at that time who's uh, stepping foot uh, in Indonesia. And you may know the company, it is called Yahoo, mm. right? Uh, I help setting up the HR team in there. So uh, having uh, had four and a half years experience in Ogilvy and Mather, I'm now with Sun Life Financial Indonesia. It is a Canadian based uh, insurance. And uh, I've been there for more than nine years now. And um, I started as a head of staffing but after I passed my probation, I got promoted to be the country head of HR in, in Sun Life. So up until now, my role has been uh, the same. And even though I'm the country of H, uh, HR, uh, I still do my capabilities and uh, responsibilities as HRBP because I think HRBP is you know, inevitable, right? You just have different stakeholders. You just have different, uh, you know, focus on uh, on on helping the specific uh, stakeholders that you deal with. But everything is the same. The principle should be a client obsessed kind of interaction, or um, employee should be at at the heart uh, of everything we do. That is why uh, for that kind of uh, point of view, uh, the team in HR that I lead uh, have been uh, excelling ourselves in many uh, different practices and uh, joining also international awards. Uh, so recently, uh, we won the 20, we won the gold awards of Asia Pacific's TV awards in innovative use in technology and in human resources, digital and personalization in employee centric HR programs. And uh, we also won uh, employer of the year, although it was only the bronze award but we were competing amongst the big uh, players like Unilever, Hewlett, uh, Hewlett Packard, uh, yeah, those two. Um, and then we are also 
recognized in industry as producing the uh, one of the future leader in HR. Um, and um, we actually won the category in creating leaders from within. And uh, we were winning the award of HR Asia Best Companies to Work For. It is, uh, it is an Asian-based uh, awards. And uh, it is three years in a row since 2016. Um, my team member just won the Employee of the Year. And she was also amongst the participants of the HR certification program that Asia HRM did it. So as a, as a long life learner, uh, I studied uh, Agile and I'm also awarded uh, as Scrum Master. Uh, so I have handled some squad, uh, basically focusing on cultural implementation in my organization and in the regional context. I also earned my uh, formal education as a Master of Arts in International Communications and Business Development from London School of Public Relations and also Master of Science from the University of Manchester in United Kingdom, majoring in International Development Program uh, in Human Resources. I am a mother of three teenagers, Daryl, Sophie, and Ruby, and I'm also a passionate baker and culinary enthusiast. So hope to join with you all and join with the rest of the experts of HRHRM in the platform of HRBP certification program. I hope everyone is enjoying the program and more importantly, can apply the knowledge that we share. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Dia. Thank you. How wonderful to have learned that uh, women with multiple qualities that is actually required uh, for the, for, I mean, uh, for the profession we are carrying on. And it's wonderful to know that uh, another master's and having a grandmaster among us. Thank you very much once again. Um, it is always lovely to have such a prudent and enlightened panel of instructors among us. It, I'm utterly hopeful and confident that the signature course of Asia HRM will be a significant addition for our participants' career, and they can apply the learning in their professional aspects effectively. Well, we will quickly wrap up the kickoff session as we are on the right schedule for the inaugural class of HRC HRPP, um, starting within an hour. So I would like to request all our program participants to introduce themselves by telling their name, position, base country, and a few words as an expectation of this program. Um, so may I introduce from my uh, clockwise, Ms. Eva. Eva, could you please introduce yourself? Thank Hello. You. Hi. Uh, okay, can you hear me, right? My name is Eva. Uh, I'm a HR manager right now based in Singapore. My expectations about the program. Well, first of all, I join with my all my team members in ASEAN, Olivier and co uh, so it's like a team bonding. <laughs> we want to do learning together, discussions together, and hear from the experts. That's all. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eva. How about Siti Fatima? Okay. Hi, all. Can you hear me, right? Yeah, you're audible. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. All right. So my name is Siti Fatima. Okay. So you can call me Siti. So I'm a senior HR executive. Uh, based at uh, Malaysia. So I have another, my uh, uh, teammate here, Eva, uh, Jess, Olivia. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so uh, my expectations will be to enhance uh, my HR skills. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, in terms of communications, how to interact with the people and everything. Yeah. Hope I can learn from the masters. So, hi. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Fatima. Uh, please request Miss Josie, Josie oh. Lim from Singapore. Josie, could you please introduce yes. yourself? Yeah. Hi, all. Uh, I'm Josie. Uh, uh, I'm a HR executive, currently based in uh, Singapore. 
So my expectation to this program is um, I hope that I can learn um, in understand more in details uh, uh, the job scope of uh, as a HRBP. Hopefully can apply in maybe my future career progression. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shirley. It will be. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, can I, I mean, can I request Mr. Abdullahi my, my rep, probably I pronounced the name correctly, Mr. Abdullahi Ah, yes. Salam alaikum, everybody. Okay, especially my name is Abdullahi Mir Mohammed. I'm from Somalia. I'm directly, I'm DG, Ministry of Labor of Paris. I'm consultation, other Somali national, other company. My expectation is uncountable, this program. Inshallah, I will get a good knowledge that I will implement it in my country. And every one of us, I expect to, good, to get the good knowledge. Especially, I greet my dear professor, uh, Musharraf, who infused you this program. Welcome. Thank you, all of you. Thank you very much. It will be surely. Um, yeah. My turn to Miss Olivia Su from Malaysia. It's Olivia. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you so much, Rita, for sharing this uh, session with uh, me. Um, and I'm here with the rest of my teammates from Malaysia and Singapore, Siti, Eva, Josie, and Jess. Um, so I, I'm the HR manager from Malaysia. And um, I, me and my, me and the team, we decided to join the session. Like what Eva mentioned, it was a very good bonding, uh, team bonding activities for us to learn together. That's one. But of course, uh, we we also want to understand a bit more on the roles of HRBP and see how the knowledge that we're going to get from here, uh, how is it going to help us in terms of, um, you know, our future growth and um, in terms of how we're going to help. Uh, our current roles and also our company in terms of future strategic planning and whatnot. So, so we're hoping that this is going to, you know, kind of push us forward a few steps. So yeah, that, that, that should be about it. Thank you. Thank you, Olivia. It's nice to know. Um, Mr. Amir from Malaysia. Hello, so everyone. So my name is Amir Hazril from Malaysia. So I'm currently the junior HRBP of a furniture company. So um, one of my, my expectation is actually just to um, equip myself with a lot of knowledge within the HR function. So I personally have just restarted back my career in HR after leaving HR. <laughs> so um, in coming back um, the past one year, my, my growth in HR has started from employee experience to um, to a junior HR BP, and it's been a roller coaster. So I believe that I really need this course to just back me up in order to better support the strategic planning of HR in my company. Yep, and also uh, pre career progression. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Amir. Now it's my pleasure to, uh, to request Mr. Raju Ahmed to introduce yourself. Can you please just turn on your video? Could that be okay for you? Hello. Yeah. I have some internet problems. Oh, so we can okay, just... yeah, sure. Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Raju Ahmed, an HR professional who is working for, uh, for the last years in different sector in Bangladesh. Like I work in automobile sector, research organization and NGO. Recently I worked with uh, Shuji Hashi Network, an USID founded organization and management coordinator. And my expectation from this program is to learn about HRBP concept, how it works, and the implication of this position in an organization to maximize the productivity as well as growth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Raju. Now, uh, may I request Ms. Nia Edward from Indonesia. Hi, uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Nia, Nia Edward. Um, currently, I'm in charge as a director of human resources in one of hotel in Bali, Indonesia. My expectation of the program, actually what Ms. Dia has mentioned is uh, quite relevant before, like in hotel industry. Currently, I'm actually facing um, 
uh, some issues, uh, of course, related to, to the pandemic also. So I want to be more assertive in facing these issues in day-to-day -day of HR operations and uh, probably able to analyze the root cause and offer a solution for the company I'm currently working for and uh, yeah as uh, Rida also mentioned to have necessary skills and knowledge to be an HRBP. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you Miss Nia. Um, may I request Jess to introduce herself? Jess, uh, would that be okay to turn? Yep, yeah. here Jess. Jess, you have to unmute yourself Jess. You need to unmute yourself. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hi. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Jess. Uh, I'm currently based in Singapore. So um, my expectation towards this program will be like to enhance my HR knowledge and hopefully the training content and the knowledge shared by the master here and other participants will be able to uh, help me along my HR career. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jess. Now, Mr. Farooq Hossein. Hello. Good evening. I'm Farooq Hussain as a HR professional based in Bangladesh, and I am working with different organization, basically humanitarian organization in Bangladesh. My expectation is to actually know the problem and solution of HR-related activities. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Farooq. Um, my last person to request from Mr. Abdullahi, probably I pronounced his name correctly, Abdullahi. Yeah, yeah, same person, I think. Abdullahi is the same person, yeah, same person. All right, okay. Thank you very much um, for, for all participating in the kickoff session today. Um, so I guess we'll see you all shortly in the inaugural session of CHRBP. The first module will be taken by Mr. Musharraf Hussain, sir, and the module will be the overview of business partnering. So back to you, Rita. Should we? Hey. Yeah, Rita. I think I think we should listen from Jaker too. We should listen about what he has done, and then, yeah, oh. I mean, everyone. Oh. Oh. Jaker, I thought you already already introduced yourself. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Jekka. yeah. I, I guess I have already introduced myself and in front of you guys, I'm really uh, finding myself so, you know, uh, little uh, in terms of experience, in terms of knowledge, I'm really uh, finding so shy uh, to telling about these things. Still, um, myself, I've been working in HR, it's been 11 years now, so if you can just add with 89, it becomes 100. <laughs> um, currently, I'm heading the uh, one of the global retail chain brand in Bangladesh. It's named Miniso, probably you have heard the name. And there is so many branches around the world, probably more than 100 countries. So I'm currently the HL lead for this company. Um, I've dealt with uh, the core HR functions uh, in last previous in, in my previous organizations. Um, that is also the local one. Um, this is the, uh, the multinational one I'm currently serving. Um, I'm a professional uh, trainer as well and also dealing with uh, the customer service one. Basically, it's a retail thing. And uh, I'm also uh, a certified lead auditor for ISO 9001-2015 as a QMS uh, uh, system, I mean, uh, system process and procedure development thing. And also uh, currently the uh, lead of uh, HHRM in Bangladesh and proudly representing HHRM in Bangladesh. Yeah, that's, that's a bit short about me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jacka. So I think we will be having our module one very soon, conducted by Sir. Yeah. Okay. So are we okay? So Dia, are you joining us for the for module one? Because I, uh, me, uh, Jacka and I will stay behind to 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 learn from the best. So 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 Dia, you just feel free if you want to stay or you you can excuse yourself. It's really up to you. Okay. Yeah, I I think I need to excuse myself. Okay, sure. Higher engagement. Good okay. luck, everyone. Thank you, dear.